here with Andy Haig, who's probably going to finish off uh, leading the Huskies in hitting this fall. Andy, just kind of take me through what your approach has been like here this fall and why you've been so hot. Um, well, I took, a, I took a nice long summer off from baseball, and I got to work on the uh, mental side of the game. And I came here this fall with not a lot of expectations. Obviously, they bring in new guys every year that they love, and that's my job to compete with them. And I just came here every day and just tried to have as much fun as possible, even if I was... 0 for 4, 3 for 4, like just trying to have as much fun as possible, put the ball on the ground, run, play good defense. But it makes it really easy when you have 40 guys who you just love. I mean, there's not a single guy on this whole team that I don't like. So, talk. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, your speed and, and uh, what you've been able to do this fall. But just talk about the depth of this team. I mean, there's 12, 13, 14 guys that you could fill a lineup with at this point. Oh, my goodness, yeah. I mean, we saw it tonight. We have we have two full teams that could both play in, in the spring. We could put either one of those teams out there, and they're both going to be really competitive. It's awesome. We have – we have. I mean, I feel bad for the coaches. They have they have a lot of tough decisions to make, but um, it's it's awesome. We have so much depth, and you can – you don't have to – nobody has to show up to the field and be the guy. We have a lot of guys, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Take me through uh, at-bats for you guys as hitters because this pitching staff over the years has been so tough, and you guys have to face them in the fall. Who are some guys that just jump off the page that you're like – Oh, my God, I do not want to face it. Yeah, I mean, right off the bat, um, Reggie Crawford throws like 108 miles an hour from the left side, and the ball is literally invisible. Uh, <laughs> he he had a really good fall. He became a lot more of a, of a pitcher, and really he looks really good. And then another guy today, Kenny House, um, I think he just had six strikeouts in two innings. I was one of them. And um, – he looks really good, but up and down the up and down today we had guys Cohen, Kirby, um, Jimmy Wang shoved. Everybody shoved today. Gallagher shoved. It was awesome. Really good. We're so deep. Talk about your speed. Uh, I think I don't know if you finished with nine or ten stolen bases this fall, which was leading everybody. Uh, just take me through that, and also that you're able to kind of collect some hits using uh, some buns, drag buns, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm five seven, about 165 pounds, so I gotta I gotta do it where I'm where I have that God-given ability, I can I can run fast. So I'm going to put as many bunts down as I can. And when I get on, I'm just trying to make the pitcher not have fun. <laughs> What's uh, How big of a game changer is this place? How much have you been able to utilize it outside of practice and scrimmages and that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, this place is unbelievable. I mean, I have a bad day. Let's say I have a bad day. And I, I can literally stay here until 930 at night under the lights and hit. It's it's unbelievable. We've We've never, ever had anything like that. And the barn is fantastic. The barn's been really good to us. But, um... It's just different out here. It's unbelievable. Every time I, I walk through the little the little hole over there and it's it's it doesn't even feel real. It's awesome. What do the next few weeks look like for you before you hit winter break? What are some of the things you're gonna work on or continue to, to do? Um, I'm just gonna keep trying to have fun. That's it. I mean I'm just gonna hang out with my friends as much as possible on the field obviously and um just take some swings, take some ground balls, keep my arm healthy. Just trying to have fun. We love it. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. <laughs>